Today we're going to talk about using the filter function in Excel to filter based on a date range. So in this example here we have three months payment history for some clients and we just want to filter based on these dates here. So we'll begin with the filter function. Our array is going to be our entire set of data we want to filter on. That is our first argument. Our next argument, the include argument, is our criteria argument. Now it is one single argument, but we have two criteria. So in order for this to work properly, we have to enclose each criteria in parentheses and multiply them by each other. I'll explain why that is and how that works once we're done inputting the entire function. So just bear with me. So for our first criteria, we have our criteria column, which is our payment date column. We want anything greater than or equal to the begin date. And we're going to multiply that by our second criteria. Our second criteria column is also going to be our payment date column. And this time it's going to be less than or equal to the end of our date range. Now this next argument is optional. It's just a value if empty. Uh, what do you want to display if nothing is found in your filter? You can just say not here. So you can see this pulls back everything from our date range. So if we hit F2 to go into our function and if we hover over our criteria, our first criteria, and hit F9, you can see this produces a series of true falses. If we do the same thing on our second criteria, it does the same thing. And as you know in Excel, the numerical equivalents of trues and falses are ones for true, zeros for false. So anytime a given row in our data set meets a true for the criteria in both criteria, it multiplies one times one. Anything else results in you know a false and a true or a false and a false, and that that equals a product of zero. So what the filter function is doing is it's filtering on a value of one based on both of those criteria being true. So if I escape out of this, hit F2 one more time, this time I'm going to hover over the entire second argument with both our criteria, hit F9, you can see the product of any time there's a true in both of our criteria is one and that's what gets filtered. So that is how that function works with multiple criteria.